Some corners of the media slated it, saying that it wasn't, it hadn't sold as many as the other Oasis albums, and it wasn't as good. And other corners claimed it was one of the best Oasis albums. Looking back on it now, what do you think? Well, people are, are always writing the group off anyway. People are now saying that you know the live album is going to be the last album, and it's the swan song, blah blah blah. But you know, so this time next year, we'll probably be sat here talking about another new record, yeah. and they'll, they'll make some other crock of rubbish shot about you know it'd be something else, you know. Be, Liam's actually been a woman for eight years or something stupid like that, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so it goes with the territory with this band, anyway. Would you have changed anything, looking back, on reflection, uh, right, release yeah, dates? Yeah, to make sure Liam, Liam was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, some days you get up and you think, yeah, I'd have changed everything. And then some days you think, well, I wouldn't change anything because it makes us what we are. So, mm. today, I wouldn't change anything, really. To be the album, uh, Familiar to Millions, uh, not a lot of people will know that it only came about because of the DVD. Yeah. Because of the footage of the Wembley gigs. Yeah, because the, the second night went out live on, on the telly and uh, Sony said, look, you better, put, you better put something out of that because it's just going to get bootlegged. So they come up with the idea of a DVD. At the beginning I was like, yeah, well, whatever, you know. I didn't really see us doing a live album. Then listening back to the tapes, it was like, actually, it's pretty good. So Have you written anything yet with uh, German? <laughs> it might be on the phone. I've just written this tune. <clears throat> Hello? All right, ma'am. <laughs> I'm on the telly. Uh, with Ant and Deck. Oh. All right, I'll be on on Saturday morning. It's me, ma'am. Yeah, hey, I just want to say hello to him. <laughs> yeah, hang on a minute. It's me, ma'am. Hello. How are <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. This is on Saturday morning, this is. You, be, you better get, get, get the video ready. It's, it's going to be a good one, this. <laughs> he's all right, he's, he's, he's here next to us. He's, uh, Hello. He's, he's looking as ugly as ever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll, st I'll stick Noel back on for you. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. All right, man. All right, bye. Can you believe it? <laughs> Was she all right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> good spirit, good. Nice, she's doing well. <laughs> After the album, obviously, was the tour, yeah, yeah. which was very eventful. Well, mine was brief. <laughs> <laughs> what, well, what happened with all that? There was, there was all the stories going around, and then, uh, once again, all the papers, this is it now. Yeah. Noel's walked up the tour, mm. this is the end of Oasis. It's again, all over again. Well, again, it's like, that's the, that's the third time that's happened. So mm. You'd think they'd be getting used to it by now. <laughs> that was my hat-trick. Um, <laughs> Then it seemed really important, and it was like, right, that's it, I'm never going to tour with you, know, with you lot again. And, you know, six weeks later, you're like, you know, you're on stage at Wembley and it's all fine again. So, if anything, it shows that, you know, we're not robots, you know what I mean? I suppose walking out on stage at Wembley and hearing the fans, you know, singing all the songs back, I mean, you'd have to be some form of idiot to just say, right, well, I'm going to pack all this. Mm. I mean, I love it, you know what I mean? I do love it, but it gets me down sometimes. And I'm not one of them people who will just sit and sulk and, you know, phone up my manager and say, Liam's out of control again, or this isn't right, and that's not right, and I'm going to sit at the back of the tour bus and sulk about it. Things aren't right, you know, I'll get me again, I'll go on. Mm. You know, until it's sorted out, and then when it's sorted out, I'll come back. You know, as simple as that. And I suppose it is petulant, and it's... It can be quite childish in a way, but, you know, I'm a rock star. You know, I'm paid to be childish. <laughs> Will you be touring again then? Will you? Well, I'm actually vowed that I would never uh, leave England for any yeah. length of time with the band until somebody said, Do you fancy doing some gigs in Brazil? They were going, well, well, we've booked these gigs, but it's all right if you don't come. And I was like, what was that? <laughs> Venezuela. <laughs> OK. Well, I, I mean, you could twist my arm, <laughs> you know. So I'm doing that once, and then it was like we got offered to do this co headline thing with Black Crows, mm. which has been my, one of my favourite bands like, for years. And um, I'm sure, actually, that they did it on purpose.
Are you all right now, you and Liam? Fine. Yeah. Today. Yeah, it's it's Today. Like a, yeah, no, it's like anything, you know. It's if I if I spend too long in a room with him, you know, like five or ten minutes, I'm gonna fall out. You know. But, um, <laughs> last weekend, obviously, last Saturday morning, we uh, we heard about yeah. Liam gonna be a dad again. Yeah. When that when that comes out something like that, do you just what the world needs is another Gallagher. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> do you did, did he phone you the night before or did no, he tell no, you or did no, you? No, he phoned me you know, weeks ago. He hasn't actually said anything, so it's not won't be right for me to start talking about it yet yeah. because I think somebody from somebody's office has put out the standard press release. So on, you know until he says anything, it's not for me to say because yeah. it's it's between them and Nicky. Yeah. One thing though that we need we need your comment on. Is, uh, he joked on Saturday. I don't know if it was a joke or not that he might be calling the baby Beckham. No. Would, would that be would that be acceptable, Beckham? <clears throat> no, 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 no. I doubt him. I don't know. You, know. you, you never know with him, though. What he's going <laughs> The great thing and <clears throat> and the bad thing about Liam is you never actually know. He's predictably unpredictable. I can never work him out ever. And I've known him. How old is he? He's 28. I've known him all his life, which actually really winds him up. <laughs> This is, the, this is an insight into the mind of that boy, right? We're at some, where are we? At this story. And I'm talking to some total stranger who neither of us ever met in our entire lives ever. There's a band on and this bloke's gone blah, blah, blah. So he's chatting away. And in, he's, he's here, this bloke. And in between the pair of us comes this pair of sunglasses. And he goes, don't talk to him. So I thought this guy must be a journalist or something. So this bloke's a bit freaked out and says, don't talk to him. I said, why? He goes, he's got nips. <laughs> Dead straight face, right? So the bloke didn't hear him. I had to leave, right, and I had to walk, like, 50 foot away from him. So this poor bloke is like, you know, thinking... Well, he, no, he's just thinking, well, hang on a minute. I was just talking to Noel Gallagher a minute ago, and his brother comes up, the pair of them just walks in opposite directions. He got nicked. And then he's going, and they jump. As he's, <laughs> as he's walking off. People were seeing End of the Band when you started talking about solo albums. I was in a, an interview in Europe and the guy was saying, so, you know, blah, 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 so have you ever considered a solo album? And I said, well, you know, um, these four songs I probably won't use for Oasis, but I might use my solo album in the future. So anyway, so Liam goes and does an interview afterwards with the same guy and he's coming back in and, and I could see it in his eyes that he was absolutely disgusted and offended that I would even consider a solo album, so I thought, all right, well, this is going to be fun for the next six weeks. So every interview that I've done, I was like, well, I'm playing a solo career. I've, you know, I've, written, I've written four songs for a solo album, only two for an Oasis album. So this kept getting back to him, and the more he kept getting annoyed about it, the more I would say it. But for the record, I'm not doing a solo album. I never intended to do a solo album. Uh, it's just all for the benefit of uh, family relations. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're brothers, man, and we're, he's the singer in my band, and I'm his songwriter. And, you know, there's, there's something between us that will never be broken you know, by some guy who sits with a the, with the typewriter. It's as simple as that. You know, and idle insults will never get in the way of me and him. You know, it's just, it's, we are just the way we are. You know, it's as simple as that. Was it frustrating at a time when you were concentrating on the new album and the tour, the world tour, and all the media were interested in was the, uh, the feud between Robbie and Liam? They bring it on themselves, you know what I mean? It's like they take, they, they both take themselves too seriously. At the end of the day, they're just two singers. They don't even write their own songs, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, get a grip, you know. It's only rock and roll, man. Mm. You know, you'll be out of the game in ten years. Enjoy it for crying out loud, you mm. know what I mean? Because you might die tomorrow, whereas I will live forever because I write all my own material. <laughs> I know for a fact Liam thoroughly enjoyed his afternoon at the Q Awards. But what a lot of people don't realise is that he actually heckled every single person that moved that afternoon, not just Robbie. He even heckled us when we got... And it's like, and the winner of the best live band in the world is Oasis, and he was sat there going, that's Robbie! Ro <laughs> oh, it's us. Right, you know, he even heckled me on the way up, he was going like, at you. You're yeah, rubbish, you can't play the guitar. You know, so it's like he, he sort of, he didn't discriminate. Mm. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I even caught him in the toilets looking at himself in the mirror going like that. What are you looking at? <laughs> rubbish, you can't sing. You're rubbish. <laughs> Which would you rather, City win the league or a new Oasis album in at number one? Oh, I'd rather sit here in the league. I'm not interested in chart positions or anything <laughs> like that. I've had, I've had a fair share of number ones and singles and stuff like that. If Man City win the league, I'd donate all the proceeds of my next number one album to charity. Or to Man City to buy some players. Can you make sure they cut that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you make sure they cut that? <laughs>